Welcome to Uncle Nick Golf. I'm Uncle Nick. And we're gonna get to the bottom of this. Let's go. to you I'm on to you you think I don't know what you're doing but I'm on to you in today's video we're gonna take a dive into all right before before I do that part of it I just wanted to say that golf is hard as it is golf is hard for you golf is hard for me not that hard because I'm good and golf is even hard for the pros but there is a simple way to make golf not as hard and it is simple I just said it was simple so it's simple just cheat if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. <laughs> so, in today's video, we're gonna dive into the different ways that people cheat at golf. And I also have uh, one really obnoxious thing that really irritates me. I'm gonna say aggravate, because they say aggravate a lot in Jersey Shore. I'm gonna show you one little tidbit in golf that really aggravates me. Like I said, we're gonna look at that in today's video. So, I am heading to Mililani Golf Club, Golf Club, Golf Course, Golf Club. What makes it a club? What makes it a course? I don't know. Going to Mililani with my new golf mates, the Tattoo Crew Motorcycle Club. I'm gonna shoot a little, little banger, a little short, little banger about um, a few ways that people cheat. That I've seen you cheating in person. I've seen you cheating on on PGA Tour. Probably uh, the LIV golfers cheat too. And pretty much everybody cheats. If you act like you're the only one that's not cheating. Yeah, lie. I want to make one thing clear that I'm not a stickler for rules and unless you're playing in a tournament like a sanctioned tournament or if you're on tour then don't be a stickler for the rules. If you're just playing for fun then um, let some stuff slide but if you're playing for money and you expect everyone else to follow the rules and you're not following the rules then we got a problem. Let's get to the course. Um, to the course! Alright we are here on hole number one and I'm about to hit the tee shot and see if you can spot the cheat here. <coughs> All right, what do you do here? You try to get lucky inside the trees or you go around and take your medicine? Yeah, that's my ball. All right, here we got 120 yards, and this one's going right on the green. Right on the green grass, right in the sand. All right. No? Did you spot it. that? Did you spot the cheat? All right, here we are, right next to the sand trap, and I got, I'd say, I don't know at what point you go from feet to yards, or yards to feet, but this is probably 10 yards eight yards to the green and um gonna take a couple practice swings here see if you can spot the cheat all right Spike. did you spot that that one I learned from Patrick Reed. I don't know if that's really a cheat or a tactic, but what the cheat is, take your practice swings in the sand, get a little sand on the club face. So uh, when you do hit your ball, you get a little extra grip. And um, that's a cheat. All right, see if you can spot this cheat. I, it is still hole number one. I'm now putting for probably like bogey or something. Forget. Here we go. That's cash. That's too fast. 
Did you spot that cheat? I'll tell you what it is. Switching the ball. You can't, ball. you can't hit a distance ball off the tee and then putt with a soft ball. Can't do that. That's cheating. Stop doing that. I don't even know what the score I got. Yeah, I could've just cheat too. Is, take well, take the gimme when they're not giving it to you. So, and you kind of scared them. Here is one thing that just aggravates me when people do this, and I'll show you right now. All right, we are here on the tee box of number two, about 275 yards. I'd say it's a pretty short one, well, given we're playing from the whites, but whatever. Let's check his alignment here. Oh, one. <laughs> Don't be that guy. Don't do the one. Go fuck yourself. It doesn't count. <laughs> if you're not attempting at the ball, it doesn't count. Yeah. You know what? I honestly don't think I ever cheated on purpose. When you reverse cheat. For one cause, you know, like. Like to do something better. Yeah. All right. See if you can spot this cheat. Oh shit! That's super. You carry that. It's part of the cheat. Shh. It's in the video. All right. Is this right here too? Let's see. We got a little. This too. <laughs> then. Just fucking lick that club. See? See? Did you spot the cheat? Fuck. Did you spot the cheat? And I'll tell you why. Like sunblock or or chat blister <laughs> or any kind of like petroleum jelly. It's a cheat to put it on your club face because it'll reduce the slip, the slide. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? There's those sticks that you rub on the club face and it's an anti-slice, but I can still manage to slice it. I have no fucking clue what you meant. Oh but shit. But that was a super fucking pound town. Oh shit. Oh, I never even reached the green, but. Holy shit. You know why? Because I ain't cheap, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> Put the Blistex. If you could, oh, and the thing, how's this? Our sponsor brought to you by Coca-Cola. Feel. The Coke. All right, see if you can spot the cheat. First, we're gonna start off with a clean ball, right? And then we just line it up a little bit. Like that. Okay, this one's for par. I gotta say, I never ever miss this distance. Ever. I never did see you missing this one. Oh damn, that's going off the green. Oh, you saw that backspin. Did you catch the cheat? And I'll tell you why. Yeah. Oh, you got a par, I think, yeah. No. Oh, yeah, you did, for camera. You got a par, guys. <laughs> yeah, I got it's not illegal to mark your ball in the front. It's not illegal to mark your ball on the side. The only thing that's illegal is when you put your ball back down, it gotta be on the same side of the marker. Yeah, guys. Come on, guys, get with it. I wouldn't have hit that eagle if I didn't cheat. Where's the car, bro? Right there, guy. So the cheat there was marking your ball and then putting it back down on the other side of the marker. Some people think that it's a cheat to mark your ball in front of the ball, but it's not. As long as you always put the marker, actually it might be because then you cannot freaking alter the line. Anyways, wherever you mark your ball, that's where you place your ball down. Don't be a cheater, be a heater. I'm talking about How does cheater. this happen? How does a person hit their ball and land right beneath all the leaves? That's some backspin.
that's gonna end this short little banger of a video so now you tell me is there any other ways of that you know that people cheat or do you know a cheater and you want to tag them below let's do that tag the cheater then uh wait for their reply because you know and um thank you for watching and i'll see you next time the next video is going to be awesome because we're gonna